what's up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today we're back with another goose creek haul and it's been a little while since i've done one of these i think the first time i ordered from goose creek it was probably a couple months ago and i did a big haul of trying out their lotions for the first time that was a little bit more of like fall kind of like wintry scents in case you guys are interested in that video as well i will have it linked up here but they just released some like spring and summer collections so you guys know i love my body care i want to try out some of the new scents i do already like these lotions I still haven't tried anything else from Goose Creek. Like, I still need to try the candles and the wax melts because I feel like that's what they're most known for. But since I just love body care so much, that's mainly what I've been focusing on. So they have some really delicious sounding scents, especially if you love, like, really sweet, fruity scents. They have some, like, gourmand-like ones as well. I am just very excited to dive into these lotions. Real quick before we get started, if you guys are new here, I would love to have you subscribe. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications. That way you guys will get notified whenever I post new videos. I do post new videos every single week and I'll also have my TikTok and Instagram linked down below as well. Okay, so this whole collection is filled with like yummy, sweet sounding lotions. I kind of like sample these a little bit, but for the most part, this is just like my first impressions because I literally just got these lotions in and I wanted to film this video like ASAP. That way I can let you guys know about the new scents because they are currently on sale. So I got these on sale for $3.99 and they have this sale often, like it comes and goes. So if you happen to be watching this, and the sale is over just wait like wait like a week or so and i'm just a few days and they will bring the sale back don't pay full price for these things like how we don't pay full price for bath and body works or victoria's secret same thing goes for this you don't want to pay like the I don't know what it is, like $14, $15 because they always have the $3.99 sale. So if you guys haven't tried the Goose Creek lotions, they're actually pretty similar to the Bath & Body Works lotions, like very similar formula, kind of like a thinner consistency, not like a body butter or body cream, but not like completely runny either. I think it's a really good formula, especially to use during the warmer months because it's just going to feel like very lightweight on your skin. And the bottles themselves are actually pretty similar to like Bath & Body Works, like, I don't know, just pretty much like a different shape. But other than that, pretty similar packaging. You get a little bit more product in here. There's actually 8.4 fluid ounces where the Bath & Body Works ones are eight ounces. But one of my favorite things about the lotions is that they have the scent notes listed on the back. That is so helpful. I love that they put all the scent notes there, especially if you're into like fragrance layering or just to be able to like get familiar with the fragrance and know the scent notes in there. It just makes it easier whenever you're going to pick out your scent of the day. So yeah, I am very, very excited for these. This one in particular is the one I was most excited about. And this one is called Pineapple Cake Pop and it has like a little picture of like little cupcakes on a stick like little cake pops it just sounded so like unique and like the set notes that they use it just gets me like it just makes me want to try them all so this one has notes of pineapple sugar vanilla cake pop and vanilla bean i was actually hearing some like mixed reviews on this one this is the one i was like most excited about and honestly you guys like i know like not everyone's gonna like the same things but i think this one smells really good like this is kind of what i expected this to smell like it is a little bit more of like an artificial scent it still has that like a vanilla cake note to it almost kind of reminds me of like yellow cake mix and it has that like pineapple note in there like it really does make me think of like a pineapple kind of like upside down cake i actually filmed a video i still need to like edit that one and get it up but i did like a dessert combination themed video and i actually did like a pineapple upside down cake routine in that video and this would have been perfect for that for all of my like gourmand lovers out there this is kind of like the summertime version of a gourmand scent because it has that like vanilla cake note in there but it's still like fruity because of the pineapple note so i was just curious because anytime there's like a vanilla scent or like vanilla cake scent my go-to comparison is always confetti cake pop and because this is another like cake pop scent I was just curious to see how they would compare. In case any of you guys are wondering the same thing, these are not alike. Like Confetti Cake Pop is such like a warm, sweet, gourmand scent. It literally smells like vanilla frosting or vanilla cake batter. It smells delicious and this is like really great to layer with. But even though they're not the same, they're like somewhat similar because they both kind of have like that vanilla cake note in there. I would say these would be like cousins, like maybe like distant cousins, I don't know. But this one right here, I'm really excited to like play around with and layer it up with different fragrances. You can kind of like take this in two different directions. Like if you want to bring out more of that cake note and just make it a little bit more gourmand, you can layer it with more of like a warm, sweet vanilla or even like the confetti cake pop fragrance mist. That's gonna 
gonna make it even like more sweet and cake-like. Or if you wanna bring out more of the pineapple scent, you can just layer it with like another like fruity sweet scent and you kind of get like the best of both worlds. So I love the fact that you can kind of play around with this one so much. It is kind of like a lighter scent, but I know I will be getting more use out of this one. I'm just excited to kind of play around with different combinations. Okay, the next one here is Unicorn Candy and this is another one that caught my eye. And this has notes of blue raspberry, candied sugar, rock candy, and berry. And whenever like I was first opening all these, like whenever I got them in the mail, I smelled this one before looking at the fragrance notes and I just immediately knew that there was a blue raspberry note. Like it's not like a true fruity raspberry. It smells like more artificial and candy-like. And it has that kind of like tart smell to it that reminds me of like those like sour blue raspberry candies. Now I like those like candy-like scents, but this one, because it's a little bit more like on the tart kind of sour side, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Like it's not a bad scent at all. I'm kind of curious on how this would layer with Sweet Like Candy by Ariana Grande. Like I feel like layering those two could work, but this one is like very, very sweet. It's very artificial. It's like a true candy scent. You know, rock candy is like one of the fragrance notes in here and I used to eat rock candy all the time as a kid. I feel like that's like terrible for your teeth because it's just like pure sugar and this just smells literally like a blue raspberry flavored like rock candy. So I don't think it's gonna be for everyone unless like you love those like really, really sweet scents. But I'm just like a little bit unsure about that blue raspberry note just because it is like a little bit more on the sour side. Okay, so I'm not like the biggest watermelon fan, but this one right here, I just, I wanted to try it out because I have a couple watermelon scents in my collection. Typically for watermelon scents, I like them to be like more candy-like, like very, very sugary sweet. And this one has notes of juicy summer watermelon, freshly squeezed lemonade, and pure cane sugar. Because of that like pure sugar note in there, I wanted to give it a shot. And I like lemon scents as well. This one right here, it really does smell like a watermelon lemonade. Like the lemon note isn't quite as strong, like you're getting more of the watermelon, but it is just like still so sugary sweet and fresh. It's a very refreshing scent to where it really does smell like some type of like watermelon cocktail. Anytime I'm smelling these like fruity drink-like fragrances, it always kind of makes me think of those like Starbucks refreshers. So this would definitely be like a watermelon lemonade flavored refresher. That's exactly what this smells like to me. It's like super juicy, has a little bit of like that watery note, but not too much. Like I know there was um, pink watermelon by Bath and Body Works and that had I don't know if it was like an aloe note but it was like a very fresh kind of like watery watermelon like I don't know it's kind of hard to describe but if you smell that one you might know what I mean and I wasn't too crazy about that like watery note in there but this one still has that like sweet sugary note that I love so I feel like it kind of helps like balance things out it's just going to be one of those like go-to daytime scents like if you're going out to brunch or something like that this is the type of scent to wear okay so there were a couple in here that I don't know now looking back I'm like maybe these wouldn't be like the best scents for me and like for things that I like so this one is called hibiscus fruit punch and you know, I'm not, for whatever reason, the biggest fan of hibiscus notes and fragrances, but it was like the fruit punch in there that got me. Like, that's what made me want to try it. So this has notes of blissful hibiscus, a strawberry sugar, pomegranate, and fruit punch. You have a lot of fruity notes in there, but for me, I'm getting a lot of the hibiscus, unfortunately. It's just coming off, like, very floral. It's still, like, a sweeter floral, though, so for those of you who, like, don't mind that or like, like, that fresh, like, hibiscus scent, then you would probably really love this one because it's mixed in there with those fruits but I guess for me because I had this idea of it being just like this very juicy like full of like super sweet fruits and it's just not really smelling like that to me it has this like freshness to it florals in though is nice it's more of like a summer floral so this would do really well during the warmer months especially during spring like this layered with like a perfume it would smell really really good so it's definitely not a bad scent by any means it kind of depends i guess what you're looking for and my idea of what i had about this scent is the reason why it kind of disappoints me a little bit and i just don't know what it is like about a hibiscus note in a fragrance that kind of throws me off but for whatever reason it does and I can smell the hibiscus a lot in this one. Okay, so this is another one that I was really excited for and this one is cotton candy. I mean, I already have a lot of cotton candy scents in my collection, but you know, what's one more? So this one has notes of cotton candy, sweet sponge sugar, blue raspberry, and strawberries. I've really been into like the strawberry fragrances, especially like the really fruity sweet ones. And you guys, this smells really good. I wish it was stronger though, because it is like on the lighter side, but it really does smell like a true 
cotton candy scent. It's very light and airy, super sugary sweet with those hints of like fruits in there. And this one has that like blue raspberry note in there also, but it's not nearly as like tart and kind of sour which one was it? Of the unicorn candy, like the blue raspberry note in there stands out a lot more. And this one is just like very light and sweet. So I was kind of curious on how it was gonna compare to Cotton Candy Clouds or like Boardwalk Taffy because I love these scents. Okay, sorry guys, my dog started barking. But like I was saying, I love Boardwalk Taffy, Cotton Candy Clouds, like any of those like cotton candy like scents. It's hard to pick apart like what scent notes like smell different because this one also has like berries and sponge sugar, but they do smell different to me. I will say cotton candy clouds or even like boardwalk taffy are stronger because this one definitely is a little bit like on the lighter side. They still both smell very, very good. And usually with my lotions, you know, I'm layering them with a fragrance mist or perfume anyways. So that personally doesn't bother me too much. I just love how like light and airy and sweet this one is. So I am a fan actually. I'm curious to see like once I actually like apply it and layer it all over, of how strong it will actually be but just you know in the bottle keep in mind it is on the lighter side okay so this next one is a little bit of like a basic one but I don't know there was just something about it I was like you know what might as well just throw it in the cart plus it was on sale this is a soothing coconut and you guys I literally have like a million coconut scents already but I love coconut scents they are perfect for layering literally can go along with any like fruity kind of tropical scent and this has notes of sweet milky coconut island rain soft vanilla and light citrus. I was curious about that light citrus note. Like I like a citrus fragrance, but I don't think I have any like citrus kind of coconutty scent. This is like a very, very fresh, true coconut. Like it just smells like you cracked open a real coconut and it's like slightly sweet, but just like a very light refreshing scent. I guess because of the island rain note, it just adds this like freshness to it. And the light citrus note in there is like very, very, very light. Like you almost like can't even smell it because it is so light. You're just getting a lot of the coconut. It actually reminds me a lot of like a frozen pina colada just without the pineapple note. You know how sometimes they'll use like a little like orange slice to garnish? That's kind of what this was reminding me of because it just has that like tiny, tiny hint of citrus in there, but it's mostly coconut. It has like this like slight creaminess because it is a sweet milky coconut, but I think for the most part, it's pretty like light and fresh. So yeah, like, is it a basic scent? For sure because it's just like a plain coconut scent it still smells very good and I know I have a lot of other scents in my collection from like Bath and Body Works from like last year that I can definitely layer up with this like sometimes having these basic scents like this is really good because you can literally use it for so many other things okay so if you guys have watched my videos you might know that I love marshmallow scents like whenever I see a perfume or a fragrance with a marshmallow notes I have to try it like no questions asked it's going in my cart I'm bringing it home and trying it out so they have this new scent, Marshmallow Sugar. I'm pretty sure, was this like a candle or a wax melt before? I'm not sure exactly, but they have it now in a body lotion and it just sounded delicious. So this has notes of fluffy marshmallow, batter, warm vanilla bean, and cream. And you guys, this literally smells like warm gooey marshmallows not like a toasted marshmallow to where it has this kind of like smoky scent to it it literally just smells like more like marshmallow fluff or if you just like heated up some marshmallows and they're just like very gooey to me this one smells really good it's a very like unique scent i have some other marshmallows in my collection but they're kind of mixed with other things and this one just smells like true marshmallows actually i'm reading here on the back it says fluffy marshmallows are melted and blended with sugar to create a creamy marshmallow batter yes it really does smell like melted marshmallows i just noticed that right now that's exactly what this smells like so there is another scent that they came out with last year and that is vanilla bean and this one has notes of vanilla bean buttercream icing and marshmallows and i really enjoyed this one this is like a much like warmer, a little bit more gourmand vanilla marshmallow scent. It almost has like, I want to say like a buttery note. It smells a little bit more like buttercream frosting. And this is just like true marshmallows and sugar. This right here would layer probably with any Ariana Grande perfume because a lot of her perfumes have a marshmallow note. So I will definitely have to be trying this one out with like Ari or sweet like candy, like any of those, I, I'm very excited to now have this one. I will definitely be playing around with this one more. Goose Creek, you be coming out with some good scents. So we're getting down to the last few here. So this next one is Paradise Tea. 
And this is another one of those scents that maybe I should have paid a little bit more attention to the notes because of the tea note. And I've tried one other scent with a tea note and that was Honeysuckle Peach Tea from Bath & Body Works last year. Wasn't crazy about it because of that sweet tea note there in the dry down. I was really excited for that one because I love sweet tea. Like I drink sweet tea every day of my life. It's like one of my favorite drinks. But this one was mixed in there with like other fruity notes. So I just, you know, I got excited and I just threw it in my cart and it's an interesting scent. Let me just say that. This has notes of crushed pineapple, mango, black tea, and coconut milk. And I mean, all those other notes sound delicious, but I smell a lot of that black tea. And it has this like unique kind of like herbal smell to it. It's like so hard to describe. It has this like relaxing feel to it. So it almost kind of reminds me of like a aromatherapy scent mixed in there with like some other like fruity notes. Like you know how a lot of people like drink like hot tea at the end of the day to kind of like wind down. That's what this reminds me of. So it kind of gives me that like relaxing vibe to it. So if you're into like scents like those then you probably will like this one. For what I was looking for, I was looking for more like a tropical like fruity drink scent and it's just not giving me that. I personally pick up a lot on the black tea. I just don't know how I feel about this one. Like it has this beautiful like fruity drink here on the front. I just wish I smelled more of that. But I don't know. You know, this is just my opinions on these things. Like everybody's noses picks up on things differently. You might smell more like the pineapple or like the mango or something. But to me, the top note that I'm getting is the tea, unfortunately. Last lotion I have here is Melon Picnic. So I ended up picking up two watermelon scents, but the notes in this just it sounded really good and this has like a picture of like a fresh cut open watermelon here on the front has notes of sliced watermelon sweet sugar and light apple and you guys this it smells so so good like this smells like a candy it is so sugary sweet and that light apple note in there like it's actually pretty strong. I'm getting kind of like a green apple note, but it's still like very sweet at the same time because of the sweet sugar. Yeah, this just smells like a candy. Like it smells like it would be like a Jolly Rancher or any of those like sweet hard candies. I think this one smells really good. I don't have anything else like this one, like a watermelon with apple. It's like very fresh. It's like a very unique scent. I love the apple note in there. Like it just really kind of like takes us up a notch and it's just a very, very sweet overall, which I absolutely love. So this would be a really, really good one to use during summer. Like it's gonna do so well during like the really hot months because it's like still very refreshing, but it still has that like sugary sweet note that I love. Okay, so those are all the nine lotions that I got. I actually did order 10 lotions. There was one that kind of got lost in the mail somehow or like lost whenever they were packaging. So they are sending me one. And then I ended up ordering five more lotions. So I'm gonna have six more coming in the mail soon. If you guys wanna see that as well, just let me know and I can film like a quick little mini haul. But I got sent this and I don't know if this was like where the confusion happened because I ordered this scent in the lotion but I also remember seeing like some type of like free gift with my order. So I, I'm not really sure. But this is the hand soap in Dragon Fruit Splash. And I really wanted to try this one in the lotion because the scent notes sounded really good. It has notes of grapefruit, peach, guava, cool breeze, and island splash. And this is a foaming hand soap. It was kind of leaking. So the bottle's a little bit sticky. I'm not sure if these are going to like smell the same as the lotion. I do have the lotion coming in with that second order. So I'll be able to try it out next time. I smell a lot of the grapefruit surprisingly. Like I know there's like grapefruit, peach. I think guava is more like a fresh fruit. So maybe it's a lot of like the grapefruit and the guava. So it is a little bit more like on the tart kind of like zesty side because of the grapefruit note in there is so strong. But I'm still going to wait to try out the lotion just to see if it smells like any different. But in the hand soap, it's like almost like a little bit tart. Okay, so those are all the new ones that I got. I do like to kind of rate some of my favorites and I think I will include some of my least favorite ones as well. So I think my least favorite overall would probably be the Paradise Tea. That black tea note in there is just not for me personally. I don't know, maybe I can make it work for me, but I'm not really sure if you guys have any ideas or if you've tried this one and you really like it, just let me know. And also the same with Hibiscus Fruit Punch. This one I do like more and I don't think it's a bad scent. It's just different than what I had in mind. So for that reason, it's like slightly disappointing and I'm already like, you know, not crazy about the Hibiscus notes either. So those are probably like my two least favorites. I think my top favorites would probably be the Melon Picnic. I just love that like sweet, crisp, but almost like tart apple note thrown in there. It's just overall like a very sugary candy-like scent. I do really like the cotton candy scent. I just wish it was stronger. So I guess I'm kind of like 50-50 on this one, but I do think it smells really good. I really like the marshmallow sugar. I'm just really excited to play around 
around with this one more and layer it up with my Ariana Grande perfumes. I have so many ideas for this one. I feel like I can do a lot with this lotion. I mean, for the most part, I pretty much like them all. The Unicorn Candy has that very strong, like kind of sour blue raspberry scent that I'm kind of like not really liking that much. So that one might end up getting added to like my least favorite ones. But this one right here, I guess because I was so excited for it, I really like this one. I don't think it's going to be for everyone. Like I said, I was seeing some mixed reviews on this scent, but Pineapple Cake Pop, that one smells really good to me. I think it's very true to the name and it's what I expected. So for that reason, I do really like this scent. Like this one smells really good to me. So I'm excited to play around with it a little bit more. I'm probably going to try layering it with Confetti Cake Pop just to see how it smells. Yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty pretty successful haul. I love the Goose Creek lotions just because it's something different from like the Bath and Body Works scents and they kind of have like their own unique scents which I really really love. So if you guys have tried any of the new scents or have you tried anything from like Goose Creek let me know what your favorites are down below and if you want to see a part two to this haul I can definitely do some of the new scents that I have coming in as well. But if you guys enjoy this video want to see more videos like this make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps on my channel and helps on my videos so I really appreciate whenever you guys do that and also don't forget to subscribe if you have not already and turn your post notification on that way you guys will get notified whenever I post a new video as always thank you all so so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye